All right, NBA 2K24, my team has decided to take it up a notch and they decided to start by removing the auction house and putting in a player market. So I feel like this is a plus because the auction house was kind of broken anyway, but the word on the courtside report says that this was put into effect due to the community feedback. You guys were asking for a way to get these players off of the market with VC and that's exactly what 2K did. They listened to our voice and we made a difference. I mean, they listened to your voice and you guys made a difference because I didn't care either way. I'm definitely in the Twitter spaces right now listening to the comp players talk about my team. And they're definitely echoes of the auction house was a plus for comp players. As well as content creators who would use the auction house as good content for their videos or live streams. I can definitely vouch from my live streams the amount of players that would ask me to quick sell a player or use it as a challenge method or would even ask me to put a player on the market so that they could pick it up for free all in all we're gonna have to wait till we can get our hands on the game and see exactly how the situation plays out with this new player market from a business standpoint i see this as a genius strategy go ahead ask me why i know you want to this transition will directly cut out all of the services, the third party services that sell my team points. And in turn, now 2K is available to sell you my team points. You can purchase VC and your VC can be used to purchase my team points now. Beautiful business. They've done it again. I have to take my hat off to the businessmen and the people working up there at 2K and Take Two because this is crazy. I might have to buy in. I may need stock. What I didn't see in the courtside report, I didn't see any mention of the $250,000 tournament. Now, 2K usually puts in some information about this tournament in the courtside reports. So the speculation is that the $250,000 tournament just might not be returning to my team this year. This plus the deletion of the auction house just might dramatically change the landscape for my team players going forward. But just like everything else, we'll have to get our hands on the game and wait and see how the community responds in game. You can expect the return of Triple Threat Online, Triple Threat Online Co-op, Unlimited Championship Weekends, but it looks like the limited game mode has been changed to Salary Cap. That's the new mode that they've introduced into my team and I believe it's a rebrand of the limited game mode. Okay, we're still using the token system. They've introduced something called Shattered Prizes where you collect pieces of prizes in order to build a total prize out of them. They have the House of Clutch, Coach Boost, the Deal of the Day, updated shoe cards, hollow cards that sell for better values, and they've introduced regrading cards. So now once you grade your cards, it's not over with. You can regrade your card two more times to see if you can get better odds out of your card grading. They've given us new lineup autofill templates, ultimate season rewards, new lineup types, and mode mini game swaps as well as commentary Easter eggs and new agenda events. With these commentary Easter eggs, I'm really waiting to see what they threw in there because it might be some really good content for you guys. All right, and they finally implemented something that we've been asking for for years. My team is now gonna temporarily restrict players who quit from multiplayer game modes. So all you bozo baggins who like to quit out of games when you're losing and like to just quit out and leave early, it's over for y'all. It's no more of that. More than that, what I really want to take my hat off to 2K4 is that they fixed the situation where players can wear the wrong jerseys so you won't be able to tell your players apart from theirs on the fast break and the loud colors that you can get on some people's home courts where they have colors that are really too bright or might be too dark to see the ball. You can go into the system menu now. You can go into the pause menu and you can turn off custom jerseys and customs for your opponent so that they can enjoy their customs while you don't have to sit there and look at something that may be distracting you from the game or taking your focus away from your fast break situations. I voiced my opinion on this for years now and the fact that they've implemented this into the game is astonishing. Thank you 2K, I appreciate this from the bottom of my heart. Triple Threat Co-op has gotten an update so now you have a looking for group. You don't have to have friends with you to play triple threat co-op anymore. You can go straight into a matchmaking menu and you can find games there with randoms. I know people don't really like to play with randoms, but it gives a new twist to triple threat co-op. And it only makes sense now that we have cross play. 
Okay, so that's my review of our six courtside report. And if you found this information helpful in any way or you found this interesting and you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the page. Hit this video with a like and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you can be notified of every upload. I'll be uploading more of my team for you guys in the coming weeks. And I can't wait for 24 to come out so that we can get started grinding. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.